In this video, we're interacting with a testnet to get the potential add drop of layer zero. On my previous video, I already showed you guys how to do this using Stargate because that is already running on a mainnet on layer zero. But obviously not everyone has money and you can use this opportunity if you are new into cryptocurrencies to learn how to transact on a blockchain without using your real money. So that's what's really interesting about using testnet. So I'm going to be showing you how to fund your wallet. And most importantly, I'm going to be leaving the links in the description of this video. In the video coming up next, we're going to be looking at the ZK Sync airdrop because I believe that airdrop is going to be very, very big when it does happen. So let's get started with today's video. Again, I'm going to leave this link here in the description of this video the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you have your metamask if you don't have metamask i'll also leave a link to that video with regards to how to install it so i'm going to go ahead and connect my wallet again i'll leave the link to this website in the first link in the description of this video i'm going to go ahead and just connect my wallet now that we have our wallets connected you can see that we don't have any funds here we've got zero us dollars here the first thing we want to do is to request faucet so you can click on these links here to request your faucet but i'm going to be using avex because that one is very very quick the first thing what we want to do is to obviously connect our wallet here and just bear in mind that you can only request i think once in every 24 hours so the first thing is to get avex so i'm going to go ahead and request it and that is done i will then add that on my metamask so i'm basically now adding the network to my metamask then i'll go ahead and request also usdc i think that one is done as well i'll go ahead and add this also on my metamask so let's come back here and maybe refresh this page and see if we've got our tokens now you can see here we've got one usdc and we can now go ahead and start bridging funds so we've got one usdc on avalanche so i'm moving funds from usdc to the gorilla network right so that's how that's what i'm going to do and from here i'll move 0.21 usdc and i'll go ahead and transact that so basically here we're just interacting with the protocol and adding funds with regards to the breach here and the blockchain is going to be capturing that information whenever they're taking that snapshot that will actually mean that our wallet address is already within the blockchain and that's when we can be eligible for the airdrop i'm going to go ahead and confirm this and you can see the transaction was successful so what you can do is to do this as often as possible so maybe once each and every week or maybe once a month whatever the case may be uh, because the blockchain has to you know keep record of what you're doing especially here on a test net because you're not necessarily losing anything even on the main net you want to be coming in once a month or whatever the case may be you guys will recall that we stake our funds here on our previous video and we actually started voting on a snapshot which is very important for you to do because these protocols now they're looking for that information that data on the blockchain you can see here on the main net we actually voted here you can see i voted on this snapshot i also voted on this one and also voted on this one here so that information is recorded on the blockchain whenever they sort of like announcing the airdrop they might be looking at this information and say one of the criteria is that you must have voted with regards to the snapshot here so it's very important to keep that in mind and also this is not expensive with just ten dollars even on, on the main net you will be able to execute this task here so you can see now everything is pending here on the test net so basically that's all that you have to do for now if we have any uh, sort of like updates i'll make obviously an updated video like i said the next video that's going to be coming up next is is the case sync because i believe that a drop is also going to be very big so maybe to get ahead and be ready for that video you can just come to the networks here and click on bridge when it comes to zk sync and I actually have a couple of airdrops that are coming up in the future as well. So I'm going to be making more videos. Make sure that you subscribe, turn on all post notifications so that you're alerted every time we publish a new video here. So once you're here on ZK Sync, the thing you want to do is to request four sets as well. So you have to request here by, you know, tweeting. So basically, it's just going to pick up your wallet address and tweet directly here on Twitter and you'll be sent those funds. But we'll look at that in more details in the video that's coming up next. 
So that's how you use the USDC bridge here. You can obviously play around, use different tokens. You can see it's actually taking a lot of time for, for it to actually finish this transaction here. Obviously, this is on a test net, so it's not going to be that fast as well. Uh, but make sure that you play around maybe on a weekly basis and perhaps see whether or not we get an airdrop by the end of the test net. So that's it for this video. I'll actually link more videos here on the screen about airdrops that I think are going to be big in 2023. So go ahead and watch that entire playlist. That playlist is dedicated for airdrops that are going to be big in 2023.